people and welcome to Kota Kinabalu. Check this out. This right here, that's the apartment block that we're staying in. Right next to us, one of the water villages of Sabah. How crazy is that? It seems mad that we have our crazy apartment building like that. And there's this water village or slum, as some people call it, right next to us. I believe that the majority of those people that are living just across here are Filipino or Pakistani. Some, most without identity cards apparently, and some stateless. Hey. the observatory tower we actually got dropped off right at the top we expected to have to walk to the top but apparently we just got dropped straight off at the top so we did none of the effort for all of the view as you can see it's just like a, a small viewing platform there's another one just over here and like a cafe or two just down there but that's about it but it's a nice view to get like an overview of sort of downtown area of Kota Kinabalu. And Hannah is modeling her new dress. Bought in the mall yesterday. How much was it, Hannah? 30 ringgits. How much is that? Six quid. Velvet. I'm so gonna nice. say beautiful. That's where the observatory is, so not all that far to walk up slash down. This is the Sabah Tourism Board office. It's one of only two structures that survived the bombings in Kota Kinabalu in World War II. And we're just going to head in now because I'm going to see if I can find somewhere that's going to sell a camera with a longer zoom than this one. Hey! Well, that's good. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Thank you. Super helpful in the tourism board. And now we're just going to head to the clock tower, which is the only other remaining structure that survived the World War II bombings. <laughs> Guys, my mum is super excited because she's just seen this singer shop. And check out inside, it looks really cool. Are they worth lots of money now? Wow, look at all of these. Your dad collects them all. And where was that one made? This one was made in Britain. In Britain? Wow. In Britain. Where we come from? <laughs> That's what we like to hear. So that's 100 years old? Uh, 188. 188 years old? That's, wow. that's crazy. And so after a little stop at the Singer shop, we have reached the clock tower. It once served as a lighthouse because it was like all of this land over here. That used to be the sea and coast. It's all reclaimed land behind us but now it just serves as a clock tower. So it was completed in 1905 to commemorate the city's first district officer who was called Francis George Atkinson and he died at the age of 28 from Borneo fever, which I think is malaria. We 
have just quickly stopped for lunch. We've actually got Italian, we've got pasta right here because we couldn't stop ourselves. Look out for the pasta cucina. It was really good. They love their meals here in Malaysia. We just walked into this one because I'm kind of looking for another camera. But there's some like bouldering event or something going on. Look at this. seen the vlogs from Baco National Park, Corbin had a camera which zoomed like crazy amounts. It was just amazing for wildlife photography so I'm gonna try and see if I can track one down that was similar to that. Oh no. So unfortunately no luck but we'll see if we can find one before the Kinematan camera because I really, really want one. There is so much going on in Kota Kinabalu today. There is an eco art inspires public community interactive art program going on right now. But look at these cool things like this is a hornbill, loads of other random sculptures. Just made with like random tires and bits like that. Very cool. Got an igloo made out of bottles over here. So that art incentive was like completely random, we had no idea that was going on but it was really really cool and you can definitely tell like the sort of environmental agenda of a lot of the exhibits I guess. So my favourite in a, in a very sad way was like the turtle one where they were all holding on to capture, to like catch the other one and they had like all litter around their necks and I just thought it was a really really interesting place and so cool that that's just popped up for a few days and we got to see it. Anyway, now we're just wandering through the wet market. Just like that, we are back in our apartment here in Kota Kinabalu. It's been a fun day exploring a new city as always. It's definitely, it feels a lot busier than Kuching, which is really the only other city that we've been to here in Borneo. So it's the only thing that we can compare it to. But there's been loads of stuff going on. And unfortunately, I didn't manage to get my camera. Not sure if I'm gonna manage it before the Kinabatangan River sort of uh, tour that we've organized to do. So fingers crossed that somehow I can find somewhere that has uh, one of the cameras that I want, but I, I, I'm beginning to lose a little bit of hope. Anyway, it is time to chill out a little bit now, hopefully head up to the pool that we have here and just, just make the most of the evening really. So thank you so much for watching. Big love. It feels good around here. And now to walk down all of the, oh my God, nearly fall down. And now to walk down all... Oh, no. 